Rocket 95.1, 13 after 7. Jimbo and Cassio, 85 for a high today. And Miss Connections coming up this morning. We'll do that after the kids uh, get in school. We'll do that at 8.15, about an hour from now. Yeah. We, we'll uh... We we, we we try to be as kid friendly as humanly possible on this show. We don't want to, we don't want you to turn it off for 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 any reason at all. So, but we're still going to be careful. Misconnections can be a little racy sometimes. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll do that at eight fifteen. So make sure you're around for that. Now, last week we'll run over this again real quick. Last week we found this video. I still can't remember how we got turned on to it, but we can We found this video of a copperhead. A gentleman had removed its head. And videotaped the writhing body. You know, a snake's body will continue to move after you cut his head off. And then the head did a most astounding thing that we we found Mm. was a game changer. The head of this copperhead bit its own body as it slithered by. The rules have been changed, Jimbo. What what what's happening in nature when a (laughs) the decapitated head of a snake bites its own body? All laws of nature have been broken and uh well we were fascinated by the whole idea of this whole thing and we talked about it on the air and we looked into it a little further and found that the guy who took the video is actually in Huntsville he lives here come on which is surprising to me I, I didn't I never expect to be the big viral videos to be filmed by somebody you know around the block well sure enough we uh we found Sam Billiter and we welcome you in this morning Sam congratulations on your video a million five hundred hits Hi, thanks for having me. That is gigantic. And um, in the in the video, Sam, I have to ask you the story, the backstory for where did the snake come from? Uh, my wife found it the day before, and uh, so I went looking for it in the wood pile and found it and, uh, you know, looked up online, made sure it was a copperhead, and after that, you know, it's it, it, had, it had to go. Um, <laughs> it, it had to go. Here's why yeah. it had to go for snake lovers, and I understand snake lovers are – are really really hating on you for 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 killing the snake and oh, yeah. removing it from the environment. The fact is, Sam's got a little boy who's running around in the backyard. What is he? Look, two or three? He's four now. Four. So, you don't want a copperhead running around in the backyard when your child is romping and playing with his buddies. Nope, not at fact, all. You got a family pet as well. Right? Yeah, yeah, little dog running around. Yeah. So so you you found this snake. You cut his head off and you decided to videotape it. What did you think when it bit its own head? Had you ever seen that before? Uh, no. Um, and as you can tell in the in the video, I'm I'm laughing, but that's just nervous adrenaline laughter. Of, <laughs> you know, I I don't know yeah. what I'm looking at right now. This is just insane. Yeah. Uh, this is, by the way, Copperhead Bites Itself, if you want to do a search for it when it's, you get to work or whatever. It's up on our Facebook as well. Oh, I it's up. posted it on our Facebook. It's probably Facebook. easier to see it on our Facebook because you do have to sign in with a YouTube account to see it because they've age-restricted it. Yeah. Well, I got they've, the audio playing if you want to. Because now Sam <laughs> is had, crazy. You had a little conversation with him, Sam. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's wow. locked into that tail. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, how big is the snake? Because it's hard to tell. It's on a, Is that a stump or a rock? It's on a stump. It's, 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 crazy. it's right at about three feet. Oh. Um, so it's a good-sized copperhead. How are you going to bite yourself? Back that up. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing you did, Sam. That's just that's crazy. Milo. How are you going to bite yourself? <laughs> Snake. Snake. Snake? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. <laughs> How about this? It's a legit question. It is. By Sam. I'm all yeah. I'm a hundred percent with you. <laughs> right. Why are you gonna bite yourself, Snake? You know yeah. why? Because he's evil. <laughs> How about let's just put it out there? Are you going there as uh, evil? Yeah. Well, how about this? He bit himself. Serpent. I, if I bit myself, would y'all not think I was weird and crazy? Yeah. <laughs> and so you need to get checked out, dude. <laughs> Sam, now you've you've gotten criticized that you're a, a snake hater. You're an animal hater. You're anti-animal. You're this and you're that. They've called you names. They've they've criticized you for for letting your child get so close to the snake. Well, let's clear all this up. Your child wasn't around. When you were when you were videotaping, no, not him. at the moment. Um, we had put him inside because obviously we don't want him right there, yeah, you know, witnessing right. such gruesome stuff. Yeah, um, but yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot of nasty comments, um, but if people want to go to my Instagram, um, Sam Billiter Instagram, 
Uh, I have lots of pictures of animals. Like that's that's what I do is take pictures of animals, and that's why I got my camera out in the first place to take a video of this snake. Um, so you know, all those haters, go to my Instagram, look it up. I I like animals. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's clear up a couple questions. Uh, one, like Jimbo mentioned, some people were saying your your kid was there. Your kid was not there. I'm not even sure where that started. Don't know. Um, two. Some people were thinking the snake was pregnant. Was the snake pregnant? Not that I could tell. Um, it was thick pretty much all the way through. It didn't have just one bulge where, you know. That it, snake is super thick, by the way. Yeah. All, oh, yeah. Every snake. copperhead I've ever seen is this kind of bulky sort of body. Yeah. Did you say it was close to three feet long? Yeah. and it, yeah, yeah, it was heavy. It's massive. Mm. Yeah. Where is he now? Buried in the backyard? Um, the woods? Yeah, I put him in the woods. Mm. Um, you gave him a proper burial. Yeah. See? Wink. Yeah. See? How about that? <laughs> your, little, your little boy had a, had a nice service for him. Right. candlelight vision yeah. Yeah. for yeah. him. Yeah. So Sam uh, Sam Billiter from Huntsville has, is, <laughs> is the guy that videotaped this uh, the snake biting itself that we found fascinating. Um, Sam, <laughs> I, you know, we've cleared up all the rumors. You're not an animal hater. You simply cleared the backyard of a poisonous snake for your child and his buddies to roll around the backyard in. Yep. And that's every reason in the world to kill a poisonous snake to me. Yep. Two, you cannot hurt the ecosystem by killing a copperhead. There's literally millions in the state of Alabama. You could kill them all day long, and it wouldn't affect it. Uh, two, um, I need to know, did you go ho on this thing? <laughs> no, I started out with a shovel. Yeah, yeah. Like and you should. uh and yes, a long handle yeah, that exactly. stays far away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this: it's not the cleanest cut I've ever seen. No, no, <laughs> no that wasn't one. That wasn't one swoop. Yeah. And so that might have been a cut and a chew, a tear. Right. Well, I had to get my machete that's a little bit Thank you. sharper to, yeah. you know, go ahead and there get it out of its misery. Did so, he? So I thought. Did he rear up at you? Was it? Was he doing the snake thing, the poison snake thing, where he was threatening? Oh all? yeah, he had his fangs out. I mm. can see the mm. venom just what dripping he? out. By he the way, he's himself. I'm a hundred percent out. He was ready to attack. Ugh. Huh? All right, snake lovers. I know this. I know you. Uh, this thing bothers you. I understand. I know that snake lovers are a militant well, group. Don't look at it then. <laughs> I know. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is you don't have to go to Copperhead yeah. Bites itself on YouTube. But if you want to see some amazing footage and see why snakes are evil, <laughs> and see a snake bite its own body with a dead, decapitated head, which is just incredible to me. I'm not saying kill every snake in america no i mean i kind of want to but i'm not gonna <laughs> say that i just understand that this thing right here is in a man's backyard where his kid his wife and his family dog we got dog lovers out there we do his dog could have stepped on it and here's the deal it's not like it's i don't think the copperhead is like slithering around the yard going i'm going to attack somebody yeah. no it's the kid or the wife or anybody or him you don't see it. You step on it, and that's when it gets mad and bites you, and you get attacked, and then you got a problem on your hands. Wait, I need you to go back and talk like the snake hey, again. Hey, guys. Huh? It's me. <laughs> I need you to be the Chris the Copperhead. <laughs> Chris the Copperhead. Oh, wow. Well, Sam uh, and Krista, thanks for taking the time. Sam brought his wife and child in. We appreciate you getting up this early. And, yeah, no problem. And coming well, you in. You look at and, that guy and you see if you want to kill a copperhead. Yeah, look at this face of this four-year-old, and you tell me every copperhead's head and coming off. Who is off. it? Copperhead or that kid? I know, yeah, right? I'm taking copperheads going down. <laughs> Absolutely, every time. Hey, look, it's my own tail. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Sam. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Here's a look at traffic. Well, so far this morning, we've been in pretty good shape as far as Rex or Stalls go. Now,